Boys also can wear lipstick. This is how it started. My mother had dragged me along shopping with her at Bloomingdale's. She was trying on lipsticks at the cosmetics counter, carefully swiping different shades on the back of her hand and examining them under the bright store lights. I watched with mild interest, mostly just eager to get out of there and head home to my video games. As I stood there, fidgeting with boredom, my mother asked the woman behind the counter for a lip balm. The woman smiled and handed her a sleek tube from Lancome. It looked just like a lipstick, but with no vibrant color. I glanced at it, uninterested in such, girly, things. Turning to me, my mother said, Here, honey, try this. It will keep your lips nice and supple. You put it on just like mommy puts on her lipstick. She held out the lip balm, offering it to me. I hesitated for a moment, then shrugged and thought, why not? I took the lip balm and applied it to my lips, mimicking my mother's graceful movements. The cool texture glided on smoothly, leaving a subtle sheen. I looked at myself in the mirror and felt a strange sense of satisfaction. My lips felt different, softer somehow. It was a small change, but I liked it. From that moment on, I was hooked. Every day before school, mother would remind me, don't forget to put on your lip balm. She would playfully tickle me a little and say, remember, the girls like to kiss a boy who has nice soft lips. I would blush furiously and protest, mother. Despite the teasing, I secretly enjoyed the attention and the little ritual we shared. It became a part of our morning routine, a bond between mother and son. Then one day, I came home from school, and there it was, a small package on my bed. Curiosity peaked, I opened it to find something new. It was called Bert's Bees Lip Shimmers. My mother had a mischievous smile on her face as she watched me examine it. It's just like the Lancome lip balm, only better, she said. When you take off the top, you can see that it has a little color. But don't worry, it's subtle. Just a touch of shimmer. She held it up, the light catching the tube, revealing a soft pink hue. I looked at her in alarm, unsure about the added color. Oh, it looks like there is much more color when it is in the tube, she reassured me. Put a little on, you'll see there is barely any color. Reluctantly, I decided to trust her and twisted the tube open, revealing a glimmering stick of lip shimmer. With a hint of skepticism, I applied a small amount to my lips, just as my mother had suggested. She observed my reaction closely. See, she said, you can barely see it. But that wasn't how it looked to me. As I glanced at myself in the mirror, the shimmer caught the light, giving my lips a noticeable, albeit subtle, rosiness. I couldn't deny that it looked different from the clear lip balm I had been using. My mother could see my doubt and quickly added, if you want, you can stick to the Lancome before school and put on your Burt's Bees after. How does that sound? Her compromise seemed fair, and I nodded in agreement. That became my new routine. Every morning, I would diligently apply the Lancome lip balm, preserving the softness and moisture of my lips. Then, as I prepared to leave the house, I would reach for the Burt's Bees lip shimmers, adding a touch of shimmer and color to enhance my natural appearance. As time went on, I noticed subtle changes in myself. Not only did my lips feel softer and look healthier, but I also began to take more notice of my overall appearance. I paid attention to the way I dressed, how I presented myself to the world. It wasn't about trying to be someone else or conforming to society's expectations, it was about embracing my own style and feeling confident in my own skin. The routine of using lip balm and lip shimmer continued, becoming a part of my daily life. But one day, as fate would have it, our usual shopping trip took an unexpected turn. Accompanied by my mother, I found myself in a bustling department store, browsing through various aisles filled with clothing, accessories, and cosmetics. My mother had her eye on a particular shade of red lipstick, and as we approached the cosmetics section, a friendly saleswoman greeted us. Welcome to our makeup counter, she said with a warm smile. Can I help you find anything specific today? My son and I are looking for a red lipstick, my mother replied without hesitation, pointing to me as she spoke. The saleswoman's eyes widened slightly, seemingly surprised by my mother's statement. She glanced at me, her gaze lingering for a moment before she recovered her composure. 
Certainly, ma'am, the saleswoman said, maintaining her professionalism. We have a wonderful selection of red lipsticks. Please follow me, and I'll show you some options. I felt a mix of confusion and amusement at the situation. The saleswoman's assumption had caught me off guard, but I decided to go along with it, embracing the unexpected adventure that had befallen me. As we explored the various shades of red, my mother and the saleswoman engaged in a lively discussion about the perfect hue. They swatched different colors on the back of their hands, comparing and analyzing the undertones. Meanwhile, I stood there, trying to blend in as inconspicuously as possible. Eventually, they settled on a vibrant, classic red shade that the saleswoman assured my mother would complement my complexion. It was then that my mischievous mother, always one to appreciate a moment of spontaneity, turned to me with a playful glimmer in her eyes. Why don't you try it on, darling? She suggested, holding the lipstick out to me. I hesitated, considering the unexpected turn of events. But something inside me urged me to embrace the experience, to step out of my comfort zone and see where it led. With a mischievous grin, I accepted the lipstick and applied it to my lips, mirroring the same care and precision my mother had shown countless times before. When I caught a glimpse of myself in the nearby mirror, I couldn't help but chuckle. The vibrant red lipstick stood out against my features, creating a stark contrast to my usual appearance. But instead of feeling awkward or out of place, I felt a surge of confidence and liberation. The saleswoman and my mother exchanged amused glances, sharing a silent understanding. They saw the enjoyment I derived from this unexpected twist, and in a lighthearted moment of pure spontaneity, my mother suggested, you know what? Let's have a little more fun with this. Without hesitation, she guided me toward the clothing section, browsing through racks filled with dresses, skirts, and blouses. The saleswoman, fully embracing the adventure, joined us with a contagious excitement. After trying on a few options, we found a vibrant sundress with a floral pattern that seemed to call out to me. Laughing together, my mother encouraged me to put it on right there in the store. Caught up in the thrill of the moment, I agreed wholeheartedly, slipping into the dress with a mix of giddiness and abandon. As I twirled around in front of the mirror, the saleswoman and my mother applauded, sharing in the joy of this impromptu transformation. Strangers passing by gave us puzzled looks, some unsure of how to react, but most simply smiled, appreciating the celebration of life and the freedom to be whoever we wanted to be, even if just for a day. For the rest of that extraordinary day, I embraced my newfound identity with gusto. People who passed by mistook me for a girl, casting surprised glances or curious smiles. But rather than feeling self-conscious or embarrassed, I reveled in the adventure, relishing the opportunity to challenge societal expectations and explore a different side of myself. As the day drew to a close, I returned home, changed back into my usual attire, and washed away the vibrant red lipstick. But the memory of that exhilarating experience remained, etched into my heart as a testament to the power of self-expression, acceptance, and the incredible bond between a mother and her child. From that day forward, I carried the lessons I had learned, allowing myself the freedom to be true to who I was, regardless of societal norms or expectations. And every now and then, when I catch a glimpse of that vibrant red shade, it serves as a gentle reminder of the day I ventured beyond the boundaries of convention, embracing the beauty of self-discovery and the joy of embracing life's unexpected twists and turns. The End